What's up you guys, this is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com and today I'm here to tell you how I was able to lose $223,000 by selling a website. I know that's not clickbait. I wish it were clickbait. I wish that this wasn't true. I wish that I didn't even have to make this video. But I do because it happened, it's a good learning experience and it's something that I feel like you guys just kind of had to hear because it's a pretty crazy story how this all worked out. And I know I don't usually do videos this way, but it's just something that I have to tell you guys because it's like, wow. I, so, you know, I had sold, you know, to, to kind of get into the story here, I had sold my biggest site that had literally helped me buy the house that you see that I'm standing in. Uh, it's helped support my family. It's something that um, has been near and dear to me since I started it years ago and it has really helped me grow my entire online business to what it is today it always provided that revenue stream it was old faithful right it was like the thing that was there that just wasn't uh wasn't bending it was always there for me it was awesome so i created this site i had done really well with it uh my income reports you can look it's always it's website one so if you go to onehourprofessor.com into the income reports you can see website one that is the particular site that I'm referring to here. And you can see the graphs and how well it was doing over time. But anyway, it was time to sell that site. And people are probably wondering, why did you want to sell the site? I wanted to sell the site because it, over the years, some competition has, has snuck in. And just in general, that particular site, it started to kind of fall in traffic. Not, not like, you know, off a cliff fall and just not worth anything anymore but it wasn't making as much as it was before and the traffic was dropping and there was some competition so it needed a lot of work and that's fine right sometimes with sites i build them they need work i revise them and then they go back to where they were this site i didn't have the time or even the the willingness to go back and do all the work because there was a lot of content and quite frankly, I had worked on the site for so long, I was kind of like, I'm just, I'm just over it. Like, it's a great site, it's done a lot of great things, but I'm just kind of over it. I don't want to work on it anymore. I don't want to have a team work on it anymore. I just want to let it go. So I decided, I made the decision at that point that, hey, it's not like it had fallen off a cliff and wasn't worth anything anymore, right? It, it was doing still pretty well compared to how it was in the past. In the past it did better, but it was still doing pretty well. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna list this thing and I'm gonna to try to sell it. So at that point, I had listened on one of the online marketplaces to sell uh, websites. I had put it up there and I had, I didn't even put a buy it now type price on it because I didn't really know how much it would really fetch because I had never sold a site this big before, right? So I put it up there and I thought, okay, let's see how much it sells for. Honestly, I was hoping for like maybe 350,000 at the time, which is a crazy amount of money. I never thought I'd be here. I just wanna say anyone that's considering creating websites or maybe you're in the midst of it, keep going because some crazy things can happen. But anyway, I was like, all right, I don't know what to list this as because I've never done this before. I had some experts kind of talk to me and say, well, you should do this, this. And I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna kind of let it be and, and see where it goes. Uh, and I did put a, a have to hit amount. So basically a number, like a reserve price, right? To where it had to hit, like if you're familiar with eBay, oh, it has to hit this amount. That was $350,000 for me. And in the beginning, I was like, that's fine. I don't really know where it should be or what's gonna happen. Uh, I, I wasn't really comfortable with selling for 350. I didn't think it would go that low, but I also didn't really know how high it would go. So it was like a minimum, right? Um, and even then, if it was like, if it went for that, I'd be like, eh, you know, it was, I would have wrestled with it. So anyway, went through the whole process, everything up. And then at the end of the day, what ended up happening was somebody had come in after I had a crazy amount of discussions with other people. Somebody had come in and they offered $500,000, 500,000, half a million dollars. They actually offered a little bit less than that. It was like, I don't remember what it was, like 490 or something, something like that. And I was like, look, it needs to be five. Cause how cool is that? Like half a million dollars, right? To be able to dream up something in your head, build it and then sell it for half a million. In incredible, right? So at the end of the day, that was it. And we agreed. Okay. And he was like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy it for that. Uh, and the cooler thing too, is that he didn't need to do financing. It was all cash. So it was like, literally, you know, we'll turn the dial and it'll be in your hands. And then you'll just give me all the money. It was awesome. So I was like, great. This is amazing. 500,000. We're both happy. It's going to be great. So this is where the story gets weird. Uh, and this is how I lost $223,000. Uh, what ended up happening was we're going through the process of transitioning all the assets over. Okay. And for those that haven't sold a site before, what I mean is, you know, when you, when you buy a site or when you sell a site, 
you have to transition assets over to make it so that the person actually owns it. And a big part of this is transitioning over the different partnerships that you have and all the different monetization platforms. So like, for instance, we transferred over an Ezoic account, okay? That's an example. So we transferred it over, he got a hold of it, he put it up, it started making money. So he saw, okay, yeah, this, this revenue stream is valid. And we had to do that a bunch of different times with a bunch of different partners. But here's where things really didn't go well. So I transferred over most of the partnerships, no problem. And it was just various affiliate things and, and things like that, and then the display ads, right? Transferred them all over, not having a problem. And then there was one particular partner that was, a, it's about 40 to 50% of the revenue monthly. That's what it was at, right? That's how much it was making. So a significant chunk of the revenue is from this one partner, okay? And I had worked with this partner for years and everything was fine. Well, they had kind of delayed things and they weren't really moving quickly on the whole transition. But I was like, whatever, they'll get to it. And I'm working on all these other ones. When they're all done, I turn to this one. This is one of two partnerships that we have to transfer over to finish the wholesale of the site, right? I went to them and I said, hey, uh, I really need to get this kind of moving here because the new person is buying the site and they need it so that they can, we can finalize the sale. I'm working with them. And then they started um, asking like questions, like questions that were, and it's hard to explain this in great detail without giving the site away, so I can't go into great detail about it. But basically they were asking questions on things that I literally could not answer for various reasons, okay? Things that I couldn't answer. And when I originally had partnered with them, they had these similar questions and I explained at the time, I can't really answer these because of X, Y, Z, right? So they started asking these questions and I said, well, you guys already know, we can't, I can't really answer these questions because it's not really feasible. There's not a way for me to do it. But, you know, we've been working for however many, I think it was like four years or so together. Uh, we've never had problems. This one particular uh, question or issue hasn't popped up. So things were okay, right? As a partnership, just we had had a smooth partnership. What ended up happening was, and I'll still never understand to this day, they decided that even though we had worked together for four years, never had problems, they wanted to stop our partnership right then and there. They were like, I'm gonna start the, stop the partnership, which hurt because I knew right then, wow, the valuation, right? How much this site is worth is really gonna get hammered here because this particular partner accounted for 40 to 50% of the revenue every month. So, you know, I'm dealing with that. I'm like, this is gonna be terrible because of that. But then they went a step further and said, we're actually going to uh, reduce the data that we allow you to have as well. Because there was, it's hard to explain how, but they allowed me to use some of their data on my site. You know, it, again, complicated to explain, but basically not only were they killing my valuation, they also basically said, hey, we're gonna turn off the data source. Uh, it was an API, we're gonna turn off the API and um, that's gonna happen within the next couple hours. And I'm sitting there like, why? Why is this happening? Like, why me? What was me? Blah, 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 blah. And I'm all upset about it for good reason, because I literally didn't do anything wrong. We never had a problem. And then all of a sudden, at the final hour, they just said, ah, you know what? We're done with this. And they literally flipped the switch. Two hours later, um, not only was the, the money gone from the valuation, right? Uh, but the entire site, not all of it, but parts of it were not functioning anymore, which was a big problem because now my site isn't functioning as it should. And if Google sees that my site isn't functioning as good, you know, as the way that it has in the past, I could lose my rankings. So now I'm really panicking. And you could maybe you could feel my panic that I had. I mean, I was like losing sleep, didn't know what to do. I hired, uh, basically I had to act quick, right? So what I did was, is I hired two different development teams to help me put another partner in place of the partner that just completely ramrodded me for no reason whatsoever, right? Uh, and I was, like I said, losing sleep. Took about 36 hours, the site, um, we got the new partner in place and things were fixed and now the site was functional, right? Now in that time, while that was all going on, I had pretty much lost, lost hope of selling the site because you know, it was 500,000 based on this criteria. And then this partner dropped out, which was 40, 50% of the revenue, which was like, oh my God, this is unbelievable. They dropped out. So now I'm like, all right, well, that's it. I'm not selling the site anymore. And I went to the buyer and I said, hey, you know, we can transfer assets back because we were already almost done. It's like, we could transfer assets back, blah, blah, blah. Lucky for me, this person, and I'm very grateful for this said, no, no, no. Are you not interested in selling the site anymore? And I was like, 
what, you're still interested in buying it? Because if it were me, I'd probably be like, no, I'm not buying this thing now. But he was like, yes, I'm still interested in buying it, which is amazing. So him and I talked, we redid the entire valuation, okay? We reduced the valuation because that one partner who just totally dropped me for no reason, uh, you know, we had to reduce it because of that, which is understandable. He can't be like, well, I'm not gonna pay 500,000 if it's not gonna make the amount of revenue, which makes sense. So we dropped it. And then I got a new partner in there, which like I had mentioned, and that had raised it a little bit, right? So we basically came to a middle ground at this point to where it was supposed to be a $500,000 sale based on everything. It ended up dropping down to $277,000. So that's how I lost $223,000 while selling a site, which if you're asking, Ron, does that still bother you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it still bothers me. I mean, look, at the end of the day, $277,000 for a site, it's an incredible amount of money. It's life-changing money. But 500,000 is more life-changing, right? And it was really tough because my wife and I had already talked. It was almost like hitting a, a mini lottery that like I had built, right? Like it was so cool to think like, wow, I did this and now we can do this. That kind of stopped. So I'm not crying over it, but that's how I ended up selling a site at 277. Now, for those that are wondering, how do I feel about it now? Reflecting back, right? Like, like, how do I sleep at night? How do I deal with this? So here's the thing. Um, I know some people are going to say, okay, well, well, you know, you could have very easily gotten a different partner in there or, or multiple partners in there. I can't give away too much about the data and such, but the way that this was structured, I literally couldn't do that. It had to be one partner. I couldn't choose more than one partner. Okay. That's the first thing. Second thing is that this particular partner that I partnered with in the first place that was with me for years and we never had a problem, but they decided to back out the last minute. They were the, also the most profitable partner, okay? Because I had tested the other partners before. So because they're the most profitable partner, it didn't really make any sense for me to go to another partner because I would have just made less money over time. So I went with the partner that paid the most, which makes sense. Um, and then three, this was one that really helped me kind of get over this. Um, I had always uh, kind of subscribed to the idea that you always control your own destiny, right? Like all this and that. And I don't mean to get all like religious or, you, you know, um, theoretical on you. But at the end of the day, you can prepare yourself. You can do as much as you can. You can set everything up and, and try to have contingencies and be ready for it. But sometimes you guys, you're just not in control. And I've come to terms with the fact that I'm not always in control. So that has helped me greatly in understanding like, hey, you know, I am a believer everything happens for a reason. This happened. I don't, I, I don't understand why. I don't know why I lost $223,000, but maybe it was to humble me. I, I won't say that I was just, you know, throwing it in everyone's face, be like, I'm rich, because that's not at all how I am. As I mean, if you were to see me on the street, you'd be like, oh, hey, Rob, I would not act like a guy who sold a site for even this much. I would, you would have no idea. So I'm just not that type of person. But at the end of the day, I was feeling pretty good about it. And maybe this was just a reminder, hey, you're not always in control. It sucked. But yeah, you're not always in control. And then the fourth thing, this was actually the biggest one pointed out by my wife. She had mentioned, she's like, Ron, this all happened. And I know this was tough. And, and she dealt with, and I mean, there were some sleepless nights there, guys. Um, like literally sleepless nights, especially while I was stressing about the site getting fixed. But she pointed out, she said, you know, this is tough. But at the end of the day, you didn't do anything wrong which really helped me understand like, hey, this pretty much was unavoidable because it's not like our partnership was in flux or something bad had recently happened or anything. They literally came out of nowhere with this. And we're just like, no, you know what? We're not doing that anymore. And for a day there, I was like, why me? Why, you know, and I was all upset about it. But sometimes these things just happen and it can make you mad and it can get frustrating, et cetera. But you just have to like, like my, the way I do things like this when I have a bad situation happen in business and all this stuff, I take a day or two to feel pity, be sad, eat like crap, sleep, do whatever I want. Maybe for, maybe for two days, usually just a day. And I just let it all absorb. I feel all the pain. I bring it in and I just, I, I let it all happen to me, right? And then afterwards, you know, I, I, I realize I can't just sit there and, and be upset about this anymore. Like it's not doing anything. So I basically came to terms with it and said, well, it is what it is. There's not much I can do. And I just kept moving forward, right? And I think that's kind of the whole thing to understand here is that with, with online business, business in general, like some people maybe get hit by a Google algorithm update or, or Amazon reduces their commissions, right? These things happen, okay? You can try 
as much as you want to prepare for them and have a contingency plan, right? And do these things to make it so that when they happen, it hurts less. But at the end of the day, sometimes these things are unavoidable. So for anybody out there that's struggling with these types of things, um, I don't know if you've ever lost $223,000 on a website sales. I'm sure some people have. Uh, but just understand that sometimes those things happen. And when you take it, just deal with it, internalize it, and then realize like wallowing and being upset in your own self-pity isn't going to help anything. So you just got to keep moving forward. So yeah, that's pretty much my story on how I sold a site and I was able to make 277000 which was an amazing amount of money. My wife and I are trying to move locations now. We're in Illinois. We're trying to go to Arizona. We're trying to do some amazing things with our life. We're really, really excited. But I also lost $223,000. But you won't hear me cry about it. You won't hear me say, oh, well, well, well. It just is what it is. I've come to terms with it, and it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, guys, it's only money. And really... I think at this point that I'm gonna be able to do this again anyway. That's kind of the thing is I have a lot more confidence. Now that I was able to get to that level, I'm like, wow, I could do this again. So I'm kind of like, it wasn't a life, once in a lifetime thing. It was a big thing <laughs> and it's difficult to do, but I think I can do it again too. So anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, kind of a story time video, but that's my story and how I lost $223,000. If you have any questions, comments, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, leave them in below, uh, below this video. That'd be awesome. Also, if you haven't, please make sure that you like this video so that other people can see it. And also subscribe to my channel so that you are part of my community. And otherwise, guys, as always, thank you so much for being part of the community. And I will see you in the next one.